Doctors and nurses addicted to opioids and stealing them. A new report this week shows more medical professionals are stealing prescriptions amid the opioid crisis. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres looks at the numbers and speaks with a doctor who knows this issue firsthand. I went to bed half the nights praying I wouldn't die and the other half praying I would. For several years, Dr. Stephen Lloyd lived a double life. Oh, I'm a miracle. As someone who improved the health of others, all while needing help himself. Within three years, I was using um, the equivalent of about 500 milligrams of OxyContin a day. So if you put that in Vicodin or Lortab terms, that's 100 pills a day. This doctor's addiction to opioids spiraled out of control while working at a hospital in East Tennessee. I got it at 8 o'clock in the morning. And by 5 o'clock that afternoon, the bottle was empty. He would steal from medicine cabinets, get prescriptions from other doctors. But they pass it off. Well, he's a doctor. He knows what he's doing. And take drugs from patients looking to dispose. I disposed of it. I just didn't dispose of it where it was supposed to be. It's the type of reality being highlighted in a newly released study on drug diversion by healthcare workers. Protenis found more than 47 million prescription doses, mainly opioids, were stolen last year. That's a 126% spike from the year before. About one third of the cases happened at hospitals or medical centers. How do you get a true measure of that? Because people are trying to hide it. They're very creative. The report says doctors and nurses are responsible 67% of the time. But Lloyd confidently says the issue is far worse. Doctors are still getting high, fearful of opening up and losing their careers. Immediately they lose their job. And, and now they find it hard to get a job when they get out because people find out that they've had a substance use issue. Lloyd has been clean now for 15 years. He was able to keep his job, eventually becoming medical director for the treatment center Journey Pure, as he encourages others like him to get help. Despite the tough times, he's now living a life more rewarding than before. I am a miracle, but I am a miracle because of the people who helped me. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. The report found nine incidents were publicly reported in Tennessee throughout 2018. It comes after the largest opioid takedown of medical professionals in U.S. history with more than half from right here in Tennessee.